breaking news. According to my source, Kentaro has been confirmed for Mortal Kombat 12. Now let me correct myself because I know a lot of you like taking things out of context. So let me get super detailed. According to my source, Kentaro has been confirmed officially within the office of NRS, meaning that they have decided that he will be joining the roster and they have already started soft promo on him. Now, I am told that his inclusion is based on the sales numbers that he's going to pull in. A lot of you are probably wondering, well, Wave, what are you talking about? Well, what I'm referring to is the fact that they recently released a Kentaro action figure is what they released and they're going to be looking to see what the numbers do on this action figure actually it's a storm action figure if i'm going to be specific with you guys it has his updated look and his updated attire and everything so these sales are going to tell them exactly what the fans feel about kentaro and if he would be a proper inclusion into the mortal kombat game but as far as I'm told already is that they want to have him in, but these sales are going to play a number. They have no problem taking him out if he did, if he do not do a good enough sales with this action figure that they put out. Mind you, every company cares about how much toys are sold to children, teenagers, adults, or whoever buy them. If you have a Superman toy that you release and that Superman toy is doing 50 million sales, it only makes sense to release a new Superman movie or a new Superman video game makes sense so the same thing works with Mortal Kombat so them releasing a Kentaro toy is their way of testing the waters to try to get people prepared for what's to come in Mortal Kombat 12 and I'll say it one more time if them numbers are not looking good they will pull him off the DLC pack and replace him with somebody else is probably what's going to happen now i'm told that he's supposed to be shao kong's appointee meaning that he would have been shao kong's right hand man should he do end up in mortal kombat 12. so i want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below how do you feel about them releasing a kentaro action figure and using that as a way to determine how he's going to be presented in mortal kombat 12 or if he'll even make it as far as keeping the slot that they said that he would get around the office if you ask me i think it's smart because if the toys are not going to sell well maybe the dlc pack won't sell well either those numbers usually go hand in hand historically that's been historically proven when they do things like this or whatever the case is so for example look how shaggy got all of that attention to be in mortal kombat and warner brothers just came up with a game called multiverse and they put shaggy in it and had him go ultra instinct the people is always right at the end of the day so this right here is going to be one of them determining factors now again i know this video is pretty short compared to the other longer videos you got but i most certainly wanted to bring this to your attention also so you can kind of have the heads up as to what's going on over at nrs's office now i think kentaro would be a perfect addition to mortal kombat 12 because we always need some type of forearmed character to be on board with the roster so we can kind of do the damage we need i know shiva had her own game goro had his own game uh i don't think kentaro was playable in mk9 correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong i think he was an npc but y'all most definitely can correct me i'm probably wrong on that so it's about time for kentaro to get his shine on because he's been sitting in the waiting room for a minute and it's time for him to come out and get his shine. With that being said, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily Mortal Kombat content. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps the channel. It's free. It only takes one second. And like I said, it helps the channel grow. I appreciate you guys watching. There's tons of content that's coming. I'm not done with y'all yet. We're going to try to pump out as many videos as possible. Please remember if some news happen and I don't catch it, I only record my videos on uh, Tuesdays. So that way I can be consistent with the uploads and not you guys don't have to sit through missing days waiting for me to up, you know, to upload. So if I miss anything, just know Tuesdays are recording days and I will do whatever updated information I need to do then unless it's like a super extreme emergency where I can just have to record something right then and there. 
But that's all, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Sound off in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.